to think of these as empty rooms. And so if this were a room and you're standing in it, the light fabric is the floor. And you're standing on the floor and you're looking toward the back of the room. And so if you're standing on the floor, which is the light fabric, and you look up to the ceiling, you'll see that it's framed in the same light fabric. When we piece the hidden cubes block, we're going to do it in two sections. And this is because when we sew the quilt together, we're going to sew vertical rows. So we'll piece both halves at the same time, but we're not going to piece the halves together yet. This quilt is really a lot easier to make than it looks. There's only one block. Uh, you cut two squares and the squares are different colors. Each 14 inch square is going to be cut the same way. This is page one of the pattern that you can download. This is the AccuQuilt version, and so these blocks and the sashing are going to be a little bit larger than the paper piecing version. And in this quilt, it finishes at 64 by 76. You can use any method you like. For the stars, you might want to use the four at a time or eight at a time to make uh, the star points that match. But I used my AccuQuilt. I used the two inch finished square die and I used the two inch finished half square triangle die. And that's the only dies you need It's made with charm squares, which are five inch squares cut. The two blocks consist of the star block, and the star block has four tri-rec units. It has four background squares and one center star square. The next block is the double nine patch, and I call parfait because it's the name of the main fabric I've chosen. This is one of those really fun quilts to make that's easy to make. It's only two fabrics.
called the Hosanna block. And it's actually made up of four blocks that I'll call the palm block, P-A-L-M. And these are paper pieced. Um, there's really not a way I can demo how to make this, but I'm going to go through the instructions and show you what I did and give you some tips for piecing because literally it's just made up of half square triangles and there are six different color combinations of the half square triangles and these finish at three inches. This quilt is only one block and there are two different colorways. Here is the dark block and I thought it would be easier to show you the units here. You have four patches in each of the outside corners. You have plain squares. There's, there are eight plain squares in each block. And then you have two different sets of tri-rec units where this is a triangle and this is triangles cut from rectangles and each block This quilt block is called Anita's Arrowhead I really like how this block goes together. It's kind of fun to do. The block and the method to make it was designed by Anita Grossman Solomon. This is the half square triangle scrap quilt sew along and this is block one of 20. But I wanted to show you how each block will be constructed. These are three inch finished half square triangles and they're set four across and four down. So that's 16 half square triangles for each block. And you'll have 20 blocks and all of the half square triangles in each block will be a different pattern. So this, the half square triangles will finish at 12 and a half inches and I've added a one inch cut frame around the block. Next thing I want you to do is there's a link right now on the top of your screen on the right hand corner. There's a link to download these instructions and these are the instructions for the introduction. It will tell you how the sew along is going to work. <laughs> 